On behalf of Sioux Falls Christian Schools, I personally want to welcome everyone back for the 2017-18 school year. I know I speak for everyone here at Sioux Falls Christian that we've been busy making plans for the upcoming year. We're excited for the new year, and with the new school year comes information for new and returning families to be aware of. As a school, we're considering ways to communicate with our families that might be different than how we've communicated in the past. This video serves two purposes. One, to provide information for new and returning families that will help them have a great start to the new year. And two, to provide practical information to new families that will help them and their children prepare for their first year at Sioux Falls Christian. The first piece of information we like to communicate with all families, new and returning, are the protocols we would like you to follow as you drop off your children in the morning and pick them up in the evening. Because the City of Sioux Falls currently only provides one access and entry point to our campus, it is important that we follow these protocols on a daily basis so traffic flows as smoothly as possible. Supervised drop-off for elementary students begins at 740 on the playground. Elementary students in the building or on the playground before 740 will be sent to Kids Corner until they are sent outside for supervised drop-off. This is for their safety. There are four places your child can be after school. Kids Corner, on the playground, in a guardian's vehicle, or in the lunchroom. We can't let kids play out front any longer. We'd like to let them, but it just has become too dangerous. However, if you want to take your child or, your, or the child that you are guarding of to the playground at 3.30 to supervise them while they play, that's fine. Now we're going to head outside for a good visual of the traffic patterns. First is a non-example. The non-example, you can see that the cars are not pulling ahead fully. There's a lot of spaces in between the cars and the width that we have is not being used properly. This slows down the traffic and doesn't allow us to use the space that we have. Now we're going to show you an example of the proper way to drop off your children in the morning. You can see in this example that cars are pulling ahead. They're pulling ahead as far as they can go and we're utilizing the entire space. You can see how many cars we can fit in this space and you can see how that allows traffic to move much more efficiently allowing everyone to get to work on time. Next we're going to talk about three options that you have when you drop off your child in the morning. You have three options. You can use the express lane. That's the lane that you just saw in the video. If you need to walk your child to the playground or spend a little time with them talking to them about their day or reminding them of some things. You can drop them off in the parking lot and walk them to the playground. You can also utilize the fire lane. The fire lane is utilized for families that might need to quickly explain something, drop their child off, and then be on their way. So you have three options. The express lane, the fire lane, and the parking lot. You might be wondering about the procedures after school. Basically, the same expectations apply. Pull ahead so the car behind you can utilize the space provided for them. That will allow after school traffic to move efficiently. That is it as far as back to school info for returning families. This next portion of the video is primarily for new families. Returning families are welcome to follow along. However, you will be aware of most of the information presented in the next few minutes. Our vision is to teach children to love, go, grow, and glorify. Everything I'm sharing today is to help us meet that vision. You're welcome to look at our handbook for more information. There's, there's a lot of information to cover and uh, not all of it can, shared, can be shared in this video. But if you want to learn more about our policies, we invite you to go to our parent student handbook. But I'm going to give you the basics to help you and your family have a great start. So the day begins at 6.30. That's when Kids Corner opens up. You're welcome to bring your child anytime between 6.30 and 7.40. At 7.40, supervised drop-off in the playground begins. At 8 o'clock, the bell will ring and the students will enter the building. Supervised pickup begins at 3.05. The pickup protocols are the same as drop-off protocols. Simply pull ahead 
and keep traffic moving. You'll be given a colored placard with your name on it that you can put in your front window. I'll see your name and I'll call out your child's name and they'll be brought to your vehicle and you can head off to enjoy the rest of your afternoon. The first day of school is an exciting day for everybody. You're welcome to bring your child directly to the playground. You'll see lots of parents and kids. You want to look for your child's teacher and also the sign that they'll be carrying that will show your child where to go and where to line up. At open house, your child's teacher will show your child the line where they'll line up every day. That will help them be familiar as far as where they need to go on the first day. Feel free to hang, out, hang around as much as you want the first day. You can go out for coffee in our coffee shop after the day's done, or you can join us for chapel at 9.30. It'll be a great uh, time to celebrate and worship in hopes of a great school year. I want to visit with you about some safety reminders that are very important. The doors will be locked during the school day. In order to get into the building during the school day, you have to ring the bell at the main entrance. From there, our office staff will let you in. We really want you to come visit but please know that you'll need to follow these protocols to get in the building. If for some reason, other than someone than yourself, is picking up your child in the afternoon, please let us know. That way we can be sure that your child goes, with, goes home with the right person. Let's talk about bullying. Sometimes new families ask me if bullying is a problem at Sioux Falls Christian. The answer to that is no, but does it happen? Unfortunately, it does. Before we talk about bullying, let's talk about what bullying isn't. Bullying is not a disagreement between two people. Sometimes we just don't agree. However, we're going to coach our kids to make sure they work through those disagreements. Bullying, on the other hand, is continual mistreatment by someone towards another. Cyberbullying is a problem in society today. However, it's not a huge problem at the elementary level. But we want you to be aware of something. The SEPA law, otherwise known as the Child Internet Protection Act, states that all students under the age of 13 cannot sign up for any social media site. This is the law. As parents, we ask you to follow this law. It's for our kids' safety and well-being. When it comes to bullying, communication is key. If you sense your child is being bullied, have them talk to their teacher or to me or give me a phone call directly. We take care of these issues promptly and we handle them seriously. Our kids are going to make mistakes. We use these mistakes as opportunities to disciple children and teach them obedience to God. We're going to work at restoring relationships as we work through these issues. When we work together, God will bless our efforts. The social progress of your child is very important to us. We want your child to make friends. We feel like that's an important part of the education here at Sioux Falls Christian. If you sense your child is not connecting with their classmates, please let your child's teacher know, let me know, uh, let our school counselor, Rachel Niemeyer, know, or contact Bree Johnson, our Family Connections Coordinator. All these people are here to help your child connect socially. The last thing I want to visit with you about today is school parent communication. We take pride in communicating with your home effectively and frequently. Please contact your child's teacher if you have questions or concerns. And from there, if you feel the concern can't be resolved, please don't hesitate to contact me. We look forward to serving you and getting to know your family better as the year progresses. We hope that Sioux Falls Christian is a strong partner as we work together to prepare your child for whatever future plan God has for them. Welcome to the Sioux Falls Christian School family.